Good morning and afternoon. Um, my name is Janet Jaswal. I'm with SnapLogic and I'm the VP of Product Marketing. Okay, so Craig Stewart. Um, I run the uh, product management team here. Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Dharanikota and uh, I'm the Chief Enterprise Architect here at SnapLogic. Data has become the new corporate asset class and its value has become a differentiating factor in companies and how competitive they are. You know, while the value of data has dramatically increased over the past few years, harnessing that data, however, has become a bigger and bigger challenge. There is a huge growth in data. Cloudification has created a very fragmented digital landscape. More and more users, they want to be empowered. Digital leaders are growing the revenues five times faster than their peers. It's really what they're doing that sets them apart. They're integrating their applications and data into the, the customer experience that they provide. Second, they're using analytics to drive a lot of the decisions from what their marketing team does, what the sales team does, as well as customer support. Third, they're not undertaking lengthy projects. They're doing rapid prototyping. They're seeing what works, then they're improving on it. They're getting feedback from their customers very early. And then finally, their users are empowered. Let me talk to you about one of our most recent innovations. So Iris is SnapLogic's vision of applying artificial intelligence to dramatically reduce the cost and time it takes to connect data, applications, APIs, ERPs, SaaS, you name it. The first product that's using Iris is called Integration Assistant. And so with that, let me uh, turn this over to Craig Stewart, who will demonstrate the SnapLogic platform, as well as how it's different with the Integration Assistant. When we log into SnapLogic, it's a fairly familiar user interface with the canvas here on the right, where we build our pipelines. And the pipelines are made up of these components, the snaps that we snap together into a data flow that we call a data pipeline. On the left-hand side here, you see the different set of snap packs that we have available. And out of the box, customers get a set of snap packs that provide access to files, different formats of data, as well as um, all of the necessary uh, snaps for the flow of data. So filtering, sorting, joining, the transformation snaps, the mapper, and those kind of things. And then customers also subscribe to the application specific endpoints that they may wish to use for the endpoints within their organization. And if I wanted to um, build a pipeline to read the Twitter stream, um, so if I go in here and type in Twitter, it'll just uh, filter the view that we have there on the left hand side. And I might drag a filter query component. One of the things that we're always trying to do is try and make it easy for the product to be approachable by a wide range of users. But equally, there is a knowledge barrier to figuring out, well, how do I actually use this? That's where the idea for the integration assistant actually came. So for instance, here we can see you know, what we're looking at is this file reader, actually having that integration assistant that comes up and can tell us that having done a file read, the things that are now available for you to use there on the right hand side involve you know, parsing the data or writing the data out something. That this list is built from a machine learning model that derives its training data from the successfully executed pipelines in the SnapLogic platform. In order to use that Snap, I can either go across here and click on it or drag it onto the canvas. But equally, if I'm trying to build a pipeline quickly and if the uh, significance and the correctness of those snaps on the right hand side is good, I can just move my mouse to the right and it will go through and suggest for me the snaps that I could then use to build my pipeline. The integration assistant actually really moves the needle on making SnapLogic more usable, makes not only the novice 
user more productive more quickly, but also makes the experienced user able to build his pipelines uh, more quickly and more accurately. The idea is that self-service integration allows data-driven decision making, and it's done at the speed of business. It's not two weeks from now, it's not two months from now, it's today.